Hi everyone, Miss Krista here from the Kitchener Library and today I'm going to share with you how to make these really simple and pretty paper pinwheels. All you need for this project is some paper, some glue, yarn or some kind of string if you want to hang it on your wall, and of course crayons, markers, paint, uh, beads to decorate your pinwheel. I'm going to talk to you really quick about paper choice. You can use construction paper, old uh, scrapbook paper, here I have some white sketchbook paper, and um, copy paper would work fine. If you want to use paints like watercolor, you definitely need a thicker paper like watercolor paper, but it will make your paper a little harder to fold and you'll have to wait for your paper to dry. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your materials. Um, you definitely don't want to paint on this thinner paper and then try doing a lot of folds and gluing because um, I did and it didn't turn out very good. So just a fair warning there. Here I have three pieces of paper and I'm going to do my first fold which is right in the middle and then I'm going to fold it down the middle again. These first two folds are really going to help our next folds because we're going to be doing an accordion style fold and these will really help to guide us to make a really even accordion. First you're going to take the end of your paper and take it up to that first crease you see. You're really going to use those as a guide. And then you're going to flip it over and it's going to fall right into the next fold. And then using the crease as a guide, you're going to fold up again and crease it really nicely and then flip it over and it's going to fall right back into that fold. Those two little folds really help with this. And of course you're going to do that all the way up your page. And that last little fold can be a little thick, so make sure and take your time, make sure it's even and firmly crease your paper and you will have a lovely little accordion. So next we're gonna turn this into a little fan shape and my husband brought me some glue, he's such a nice guy. Um, you're going to fold your little accordion in half. It's really thick, so take your time, really press firmly and get a good crease on that little half there. You're gonna unfold it and apply some glue. I do prefer the glue stick with this project because it just dries a lot faster. But liquid glue is just fine, you just have to be a little patient with drying. And there you have your first little fan. And of course you're going to do that with all three of your pages. And then you're going to glue those together. Really simple, really easy. On this last little fan, I like to add it of course like I did the other ones. But then I like to go ahead and just smoosh it all together and apply some pressure. Make sure it's nice and even and a little dry before I put it in its final position in a little pinwheel. And then you're just going to do the exact same thing. Apply some glue and glue it to the other side in a little circle. And just like that, you have yourself a neat little paper pinwheel. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit how you can add some yarn if you want to hang it on your wall. The way I like best is using a hole punch and I have some plain white yarn on a yarn needle and I use that to kind of lace that in the hole there and get my yarn on there. And then I just do a simple little knot and just tie it and I like to put the little end in the back and just hide it in the fold. If you don't have a um, hole punch you can just use some glue and glue your yarn in between the folds back there and that'll work just fine. Now I'm gonna add some beads. Uh, these are just some plain wooden beads. I really like wooden beads because you can paint them any color you want and um, really fun and simple to add to a lot of different craft projects. You can also use pony beads. Uh, my son is helping me there. He had to get in on this. Um, I love using these little yarn needles because they are blunt and so you're not going to prick your finger and your little ones are going to have safe little fingers uh, if they want to do this project with you. If you have a little brother or sister or something. And there we have our finished pinwheel with our little beads on there. If you want to hang one on your wall, I am a simple gal and just used a push pin and tied the yarn to the push pin. Here you see the three I made. That one is watercolor. This one I used some scrapbook paper and some beads that I painted. And of course you see our little rainbow crayon one. You can make these in all kinds of different sizes and colors depending on the materials you have. So I hope you can get creative and make one of these. Post pictures down below if you do. And of course next week I'll see you again with another project. In the meantime, stay safe, wash your hands. Bye.